Welcome back to Her Standards. Before I ask you about uh, uh, makeup for men and yes. what men think about makeup or women yeah. who are made up, yeah. I want us to talk briefly about um, buying substandard makeup because, I mean, it's mm. not every day that I can walk into Linton's yeah. and uh, leave the shop mm. with my foundation and powder and yeah. eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I cannot afford it. Yes. So as women, we mm. try to use shortcuts. Yes. So and you go to Dubois. Dubois. <laughs> that is place. Dubois. <laughs> Dubois. Is it Dubois. Dubois or Dubois? Someone Dubois. told me it's called Dubois. Dubois. It's very popular. I think every woman talks about yes. Dubois. Yes. Yes. So do you think? And I, I, I will tell women, we invest in everything else. We invest in shoes. We invest in clothes. You buy a 20,000 dress, a 30,000 dress. Yeah. But a skincare that is costing 5,000 or 6,000, mm -hmm. you tend to feel, ah, this is too expensive. expensive. Mm -hmm. This is something that you're going to use for like for three months, four months. Yeah. It will give you service. Mm -hmm. It is quality. Mm -hmm. Number two, don't fake that you do not know the truth. Because if you come and find the black or pearl powder you've yes. used is 1,900, mm. then you go to Dubois, Dubois you, yeah. you find it is 200 shillings. <laughs> In your normal senses, surely, you ask know, yourself, you know the truth. what is the difference? <laughs> Where has this come from? And should I, am I garbage? And you know it looks exactly the yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, should I really apply it on my, my skin? Eh? Oh my God. Do I? Mm. I mean, you value the rest of the body so much, yes. And the skin, you are ready to, to use the remnants, yeah. to use the. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. we have a lot of um, counterfeits and yes. counterfeits in the country, unfortunately. Mm. But we leave people to judge for themselves. And one thing, over the years that Lintons, we have agreed and we have taught our consultants is we are not going to take any shortcuts. We'll give quality, mm. we'll talk, we'll sing quality, wow. and we'll deal with companies directly, mm. manufacturers directly, that deal make these products. If it's Lancome, we go straight to Lancome, yeah. and they have known us. Mm. Number two, between Du Bois and our Linton's yeah. uh, trade, trade ladies, yes. is that the brands themselves, the brands themselves train them. Every three wow. months you have you Refreshing. have a Clarins trainer, yes. a clinic trainer, yes. a Lancome trainer coming to train them. Even what sort of how how fragrances have to be used. Yes. Because that's something we have added in our portfolio mm -hmm. of skincare yeah. and makeup. makeup yes. We have realized that to complete the beauty, mm -hmm. you need to smell good. Yes. It helps <laughs> you feel good. One stop shop. You come yes, in, one stop shop. Exactly. Yes. And quality, quality, quality. professional. Mm. You'll be consulted. And we don't charge you to consult. Mm. So I can walk in and get my skin tested. And yes. Then Whether like, you buy or yeah. not buy, mm. we, are, we really have that passion to tell you this is the best for your skin. Because being a, having that profession background, yeah. my motto is to fight against use of counterfeits yes. and against use of wrong products mm -hmm. or breaching. Mm -hmm. I, I, Actually I what that. we do is we walk to the boys and uh, we ask the shop attendant, yes. uh, which one do you think suits <laughs> me? And they use the guesswork to yes. pick something for us yes. that yes. is a copy and paste of Black Opal exact, and I pack exact, it for 200 shillings exactly, and I'm very happy. Exactly. Anyway, good point. Yes. Men and makeup. Yes. <laughs> Do you think it is okay for men to wear makeup in the African yeah. context? People think it's a taboo. We, it's a journey, it's work in progress. Mm. Let me say that. Our men have not embraced beauty much. If you find a man walking in here today, yeah. they go to the counter of the fragrances, fragrances. mostly. Yes. They love fragrances, they love to colognes, yeah. they love to feel, to smell good. Yeah. But there are those who have gone to the extent of even having their pedicure yes, and the manicure. I've seen that. I'm so excited about <laughs> that. Because these things are all, these 
this, this luxuries are all for all of us, yeah. for the men and women. The ones who do pedicure have been uh, excommunicated from the boys' club and the men's I, conference. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but they are, we are yeah. getting there. Mm. We are starting gently with skin care. They are seeing the, the importance of skin care now because once you give somebody, the manufacturers have realized that this is an uphill task. Oh, yes. So what have they done? They have formulated products for men for skin care that if it's a cleanser, it incorporates an exfoliator as well. Okay. So it's two in one. You don't have to use oh, many to products. Reduce the manual and once work, you use yeah. some of those, you see your skin. He, he looks at his skin and he sees the skin is it's really looking good mm -hmm. because once you remove the dead cells from the skin of yes. course yes. you have that tender looking skin yes. uh, revealed yeah. so once he sees that <laughs> then he moves to the next step mm -hmm. a moisturizer yes eh? mm -hmm. a good moisturizer for them so most of the time we are leaving them there mm -hmm. because this moisturizer also is formulated mm -hmm. you, you could have one for dry skins but most people here in Kenya have got oily skins so once you give them for oil free skins, mm -hmm. then they, they won't have to look too, too oily. Yeah. They won't develop those uh, bumps yeah. and pimples. Yes. Now, it's only in the media, yeah. I think the ones in media, mm -hmm. that go now the, the extra mile, mile yes. to have a powder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To have a powder to, to just to, to clean, talk, clear to, to clean the shine, yeah, the mm -hmm. shine and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I'm still waiting for them to see them. Maybe the a lip, lip gloss. A lip gloss. Yeah. So it <laughs> is okay. It is it's okay. It's manly to wear makeup. It is manly to wear, to wear. <laughs> no, because not, not it, exaggerated, of course. Oh, okay. I don't expect my son to wear high, high eye shadow, yeah. blusher. <laughs> I don't, I'm yeah. not advocating yeah. for that. Yeah. Let's take them step, step by, by step. step. Mm -hmm. But a lip gloss, yeah. anytime. Mm -hmm. I want them to wear those. And they have, yeah. Men have also stated that they feel cheated. And uh, I've had this in different mm -hmm. circles. They're saying yeah. before they marry a woman, they're going to take her for a swim. Yes. Okay? Yes. So that after the swim, they're able yeah. to see the real person beneath yes. the, the makeup. Yes. Uh, I think this speaks directly to probably makeup that is not done properly. Yes, we've seen people who really overdo it or yes. underdo it or they just don't yeah. do it right. I think I agree with our brothers. I, ag <laughs> I totally agree with our brothers yes. because what we advocate at Lentons yeah. is do not cover anything, do not hide anything. Yeah. Take care of your skin. Yeah. Treat the skin first. Mm -hmm. Remove all the blemishes, even it out. So that when you apply makeup, mm -hmm. you end up using even less makeup mm -hmm. because you are not and then not layers concealing and, and concealing. You are not really concealing. You are just <laughs> enhancing. adding some enhancing. Yeah. Enhancing. So I try to imagine now on that wedding night, you covered <laughs> so much and then you have to remove it in the evening. <laughs> imagine the shock you give them. Let's try to avoid those shocks because we are products. Yeah. If you know you have a wedding upcoming, yes. you haven't been taking care of yourself. Mm -hmm. We just need three to four months. Mm -hmm. Take to really to take you through, you. to prepare you, yes. to give you the right products, yes. do your facial maybe once a month, and all will You'll be, be good done. To go. We'll be good to go. Wow, I hope yes. you had that. Uh, over 30 years, I think now you have more than 15 stores. We have more than 20 stores. More than 20 stores. More than 20 stores because we have the Mac franchise. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, that. Yes. Mac is a franchise. Yes. You won't find them written Lintons, Lintons. Oh. but they are under the, the, the umbrella the of Lintons. Very nice. So we pride ourselves to say we have covered Mac stores. We have like five Mac stores within Nairobi. And they quite, are being, yeah. quite a, con a commendable job. Thank and you. you know, the thing about Lintons is when you walk in, you feel like you walked into a shop in the United States because all the brands are here. You have Lancome, you have Dior, you have... Clarice, yeah, yeah. Yes, Black Opal, every, everybody is here. Yes. What is the secret? What is the secret? Because growing up, starting yeah. a business is mm -hmm. one thing. Yes. Growing a business. Yes. And sustaining it. And weathering the COVID storm. weathering the COVID storm. Oh yes. my. Yes. I what? Feel, you make me feel good. <laughs> what you is make the me secret? feel good. Yeah. The, the secret is actually when you start, yeah. be 
um, do everything the right way. Mm -hmm. Everything. I mean everything. Eh? Learn about this business. Yes. Start everything you need. Mm -hmm. You start with right products, mm -hmm. effective products yes. that a customer will use and come back again. Not wanting to change, but sticking to that Sticking. product. Yeah. And we partner, we select our partners very, very stringent. We, mm -hmm. we, we actually, as they select us, we select we them. them. <laughs> we choose them yes. as well. Mm -hmm. Because we want products of repute. Yeah. We want manufacturers who are renowned, mm -hmm. that they do a good, good yeah, uh, manufacturing they have a, they have a practices. Good reputation. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So once we have that covered, we have no doubt about Lancome product. We have no doubt about, yeah, I'm proud to give you, to, 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 to recommend, recommend you to use this. Yeah. Once we are past that, then the setup of the company mm -hmm. matters. Mm -hmm. Because behind the scenes, yes. just like you have cameramen and all that, yes. you have accountants, mm -hmm. you have HR, you have marketers, you have the whole team, the a crew that is team. a whole team. Yes. You have shop fitters yeah. that you also have to select mm -hmm. because it's quality, quality, quality all quality, through yeah. in every area. Wow. Uh, Thundry, one of the areas where we excel is the training. Training. Training, we do not believe in picking somebody just, just because my sister or my yes. cousin finished yes. for four. Mm -hmm and then I bring her to yeah. a place like this. Yeah. She will not cope. She cannot survive facing the, the clientele here. We have gotten them used to knowledgeable uh, consultants yeah. or makeup artists here. The caliber of Wakina calling. Yeah, exactly. Eh? People who you know what, people who have a passion. Vicky, you're met Wakina yes, Vicky. They know what they want. They know what they, they know what the client wants. Hmm. They know what is, they know what is, um, yeah, what is in the market, what is in the market. because they we also go on facing, even yeah. if we have chosen Estilonda or mm -hmm. Clarins. New products the come. New products come. Mm -hmm. There is what we call newness, oh. and we embrace newness. Mm -hmm. Every season, they introduce something new. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I find a friend of mine walking in and asking me for a very old, old fragrance yeah. that we used to use 30 years ago. <laughs> And I really feel bad because it's because yeah. they have not been yeah. exposed to the newness. Yeah. There are better ones that have come. Mm. So our consultants are trained to actually take ladies like those or mm. men like those, yeah. take them to the corner of the newness, make and them smell yeah. and make them appreciate. appreciate. Yes. We are there to train. We are there to counsel others. Now, mm. as we did this, we realized that training is a big part. Yes. Mm. and we are not getting the, the right personnel, mm -hmm. we are not getting the right consultants yes. by getting people from out Randomly. who think yeah. they are beauty yes. consultants exactly. or, or that, yes. they have trained on YouTube. Yes. I mean, so, so like I can ask you, mm. when did we have a, have a surgeon mm. learn from YouTube? <laughs> and you go to the theater, they yeah, say, and operates. they, they operate. Yeah. So we, we realized that we need to do this ourselves. Yes. We started an academy. Wow. We now have a Linton's Beauty Academy. Very nice. That is training basically on skincare, mm -hmm. makeup artistry, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Those yes. are our key pillars. Wow. Why entrepreneurship? Mm -hmm. It's because we feel that our president, the country of Kenya needs jobs, job creation. Creation, true story. Once we train, we cannot absorb all of them. We take the best, mm -hmm. of course, because we love ourselves. I know. <laughs> now, once we take the, be the the others, we encourage them to start their own businesses, that is very nice. similar businesses, mm -hmm. because we have come to a point where we have realized that we cannot cover the whole the whole you, region. You do your. We can't. You do your best. We do our mm -hmm. best, mm -hmm. but others have to cover Nyeri. Yeah. They have to cover Mombasa, they have to cover other areas. Mm -hmm. And we need, we need to uplift the profession. Yeah. 
the beauty profession. Yeah, you know now, you're doing. Oh, by the way, I yes. quit now. I left pharmacy. I retired from, from pharmacy. pharmacy completely. Completely. Now you are from, a, you're a beauty guru. From 207, yes. I realized this is where I belong. Very nice. This is where I belong because when I come here, we are dealing with people who are smiling. Yes. We are dealing with very beautiful girls. <laughs> I love looking at beautiful <laughs> girls like you. Thank so you. I want to walk to a shop. <laughs> I, I, I look at the men working there, yes. the guys working there, the ladies working there, they are so beautiful. Mm. I feel proud about that. Mm. Thank you. Before we finish, yes. I will ask you about, uh, I mean, you have worked, uh, you have done it, or you yeah. are doing it. Yes. Do you ever get time to just unwind, to take care of yourself? And yes. how do you do that? When do you do it? Um, mm. For me, I believe that uh, you have to have a balanced, balanced life. Yeah. So, as Dr. Gekunda, <laughs> I'm a mother. Yes. I'm a wife. I'm a grandmother. Yeah, you told so me your I youngest have, grandchild is uh, five years. Five years old. Yes. yes. Okay. So mm. I have to try to balance time for mm. all of them. Mm. Spending time with my family is one of the past times that rejuvenates me makes me so happy wow. and feel fulfilled. Wow. That is one of them. Yes. The other one is Bible study. Oh, I love <laughs> Bible study. Mm -hmm. I've come to realize that nothing happens without a source. I am not the source. Mm. My family is not the source. Yes. There is a power a higher out power. there yes. that is there to, to bless you, mm -hmm. that is there to guide you, but he can't guide me unless I go and ask. You seek. Yeah. I have to seek. I have to ask yeah. to be guided. Mm -hmm. So I spend time on Bible study. Mm -hmm. I spend time on fellowships mm -hmm. with, other, with other ladies because it's always good to share. Yes. And uh, once in a while, I'll, I'll go out for a dinner mm -hmm. with my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things like those. We'll take a drive. Yeah. I love driving around in Nairobi. It's a beautiful city. Yes. And the traveling as well. Mm -hmm. I love travel. Well, Dr. Gikunda, yes. I wish I had uh, more time. Unfortunately, we have to end this conversation. It's really been great hearing from you. And thank you. You know, it's not every day that we get to sit down and just absorb wisdom. And I hope that uh, yeah. the girls and women yeah. who are watching have also benefited from the conversation that we have had. And above all is the fact that you're trying to uh, mentor, men yes. mentor young, yes. young, young guys and girls mm -hmm. so that they can, I feel that I'm not there forever. Yes. I'm not indispensable. Exactly. So the key thing is pass over the mantle, pass I over so. and over the baton yeah. nicely. Okay. I've run the race yeah. and now I feel that I should recreate, I should make others better than, better than me. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to say I that I you're, have. You're leaving a, a, a mm -hmm. real legacy yes. behind yes. transforming uh, the, the, be uh, the world the beauty of industry. Beauty. The beauty industry, yes. the world of beauty. Yeah. And just changing the perception that this industry is for people who are less educated, you can actually treat beauty, bring yeah. in a lot of professionalism in the beauty industry. Exactly. And that is what we need. Yes. So thank you. I think we have we are really- If you allowed me to mention <laughs> yes. one thing that yes. you want. Yes. I think I mentioned something uh, to the effect that there was this misconception that beauty is for school, school dropouts. Mm. Right now, we've been encouraging brilliant professionals we want graduates in this profession. We have yeah. architects. Yes. We have engineers. Who are in the we beauty have, industry. We are in the beauty industry. Wow. As long as you have that passion to enter the industry, yeah. Yeah. we just equip you a little bit. You become maybe a manager yeah. or you become an artist. Yeah. As long as that passion is in you. So we are encouraging. This is for all of us. You could have trained maybe by accident as a lawyer. Mm. It, and happen, we it, happens a lot. it happens it happens a lot because you didn't know much about yeah, it true. come and we just expose you to the to the world of oh, beauty, beauty yeah. it's interesting very well yes well uh ladies and uh, gentlemen who are watching our standards today we 
very much hate to come to a conclusion, but this is a very interesting topic. And as we always say, this conversation does not end here. You could have a question for our guest for today, a comment, your own personal experience, and you're just wondering, where can I get assistance? We are available on social media 24-7. Hit us up on Facebook at KTN Home, at uh, Queen Imbori. We are also available on Twitter at KTN Home, at Queen, Im Queen Isaina, or on Instagram at KTN Home or Queen Imbori. It has been a pleasure having you on this episode of Women You Should Know, and I believe that you have learned a thing or two. Till next time, stay tuned and be inspired. I'm your host, Quinta Bori. Bye for now. Woman of the Week, Sarah Obama. Born in 1922, Sarah Obama sprang to international fame after her grandson became the 44th president of the United States in 2008. Yes. Ah. Okay, let's try it on. We, we have to try it, try it. <laughs> even though it's hot, you tell her, even though it's hot, we still have to try it just to make sure it fits. Uh, huh? Her popularity first started when Mr. Obama, then a junior senator from Illinois, visited Kenya in 2006. Kogelo residents and neighboring communities will remember her for the commitment to promote education. She turned her focus to helping other children, particularly girls and orphans, get their education. She created the Mama Sarah Obama Foundation in 2010 to raise money to build an educational campus in her village and sponsor scholarships for Kenyan youth. The foundation's mission is to improve the education and welfare of disenfranchised children in order to help them successfully achieve their goals and have a better future. Today, Mama Sarah has developed a vision for her legacy that will build upon her actions accomplishments and resources to make a lasting impression on the causes she believes in. This vision is being implemented through her work at the foundation and includes the construction of an early childhood development center, rehabilitation of a primary and secondary school, construction of a medical center, and establishment of the Mama Sarah Scholarship Fund. In 2014, she received the Education Pioneer Award at the United Nations as part of its Women's Entrepreneurship Day.